Hi crafters, tonight I was working on the scraps of color challenge which is all about hearts. So you can take a scrapbook page, a card, a mixed media um, project and have a heart on it and link it up to their blog and that will fulfill the requirement of the challenge. So I was sitting here working on it and I had some flip flaps which are close to my heart products and I've used the 4x6 but I've never used the larger ones so I figured I would try to incorporate it into my project and this is the final outcome so I want to show it to you. So I did take some pictures which I have on my blog but it was a little more difficult taking the pictures with the glare from the page protectors. So I wanted to take some time and do this video so you can see it in more detail. Hopefully you can see this. Let me try and get it here. So this is the layout with the flip flaps. So the flip flaps are actually adhered to the page protector. And it allows you to have more space to add um, additional pictures you may have. It can even be pictures that you don't like so much but you don't want to get rid of. So um, I used the art booking close to my heart Cricut cartridge and I did this overlay here and cotton candy cardstock. I used um, Chantilly which is a retired paper pack paper which I thought went really well and some washi tape I just randomly placed on um, the page and here I used a smaller flip flap and I made like a accordion album. This is my daughter um, this was in 2007 she went to a tea party and I wanted to use some of the pictures from the tea party. Hopefully you can see that, you know, some of the, the goodies that they had. The hats, it was a very nice um, party for little kids. I haven't even been to anything that extravagant. So get this a little closer so you can see. Sorry, the glare of the light. And then I added this larger flip flap. And then it made my layout a lot bigger, as you can see. Sorry, it doesn't look like the taping is doing so well for you to capture. So I'll just show you each panel. So this panel, I have, you know, a picture of her and some of the participants of the party. And then, you know, the table display, what it looked like. And I use washi tape sort of like as a background paper and over here this is my main layout I have this cut from art booking sugar and spice is the title I have the hearts which is um, a requirement for the challenge and then I just have some strategically placed four photos here of different items that were at the party bring that a little closer so you see they had some little fake mimosas, um, they had some cute little tea party hats and you know cucumber sandwiches and the whole nine. Again a very nice party. I have this as my journaling um, spot. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to write in there but of course I'm going to uh, journal about the experience for her and you know that was the birthday party her first tea party, you know, some of the things she learned about etiquette there, which was cute, and some of the ingredients and platters that they um, had sitting around the place, which was nice. And they had the requirement to dress really cute in these dresses with their hair done, and I think all the kids enjoyed it, and it was a special time for them. I used my scallop border punch here, and then I used the washi tape again there and some cutouts from the art booking and raised it with the um, 3D foam tape. And then the last panel over here is one of the the cute props that they had at the on the table, which is a cute hat. And I just, again, used some washi tape around the edges. So I took one layout and made it extra special with some attic pictures. And some added interaction to my page, which is pretty cool. So I'll have more detail on my blog, but wanted to be able to show you how it worked 
and how it looked. Thank you.